first. President Trump also this week, he eviscerated, absolutely eviscerated, and rightly so, the lying liberal mainstream media at a massive rally this weekend in Pennsylvania. The media, well, they've been trying to utterly destroy this president, but just like always, he's refusing to back down. Instead, he's firing back. This is vintage Donald Trump, a big media takedown. Take a look. Washington, D.C., you got a lot of evil there, but we're getting it out, yeah. step by step. A lot of evil, a lot of bad people, a lot of bad people, a lot of fake media. Look at them, a lot of fake media. It's 1999. I'm on Meet the Press, a show now headed by Sleepy Eyes Chuck Todd. He's a sleeping son of a bitch, I'll tell you. A certain anchor on CNN, fake as hell, CNN. And their ratings are lousy, by the way, and compared to Fox, their ratings... NBC is perhaps worse than CNN, I have to tell you. And MSNBC is horrible. Everybody in the room is laughing, everybody's having a great time. I'm joking about being president for life. A couple of them went back. Donald Trump, with his dictatorial attitude, now wants to be president for life. You know, straight. Fake news. Fake news, lying news, propaganda news, misinformation news, it's all truth. Now, of course, the media, they're apoplectic after being called out for their extreme bias. They started trashing President Trump. Now, there's a reason why you, the American people, do not trust the fake news media. You should not. They have an agenda. The agenda is clear. It's obvious. It's transparent. And the president is not going to let them get away with it any longer. In 2007, I said journalism is dead. It has been for years. And tonight, we have even more proof. And look at this. In a recent column for The Guardian, former New York Times executive editor Jill Abramson makes this creepy admission that further exposes her liberal bias. The head of the New York Times writing, quote, it's easy to look at what's happening in D.C. in despair. That's why I carry a little plastic Obama doll in my purse. I pull them out every now and then to remind myself that the United States had a progressive African-American president until very recently. Some people find this strange, you think, uh, but you have to take comfort where you can find it in Donald Trump's America. Really? An Obama comfort doll? We got to get one of those over to Chris Matthews ASAP. He can get a lot of thrills up his leg. First, joining us now to react to our top story, House Intel Committee member, Utah Congressman Chris Stewart, former House Oversight Committee Chair, Fox News contributor, uh, Jason Chaffetz. Congressman Stewart, I look at these revelations. It's spectacularly stunning. 14 months and no evidence of collusion, no evidence of cons co collusion, coordination, conspiracy between the Trump campaign and the Russians. None. Zero. Zip. Sir. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, it's been a long time. As you said, it's been 15 months. We interviewed something like 73 witnesses, looked at something like 310,000 documents. But, you know, this can't surprise anyone. I mean, it really just can't. How, how, how long have you been saying that? How long have I and others been saying that? For heaven's sakes, Dianne Feinstein said this. James Clapper said this. And I challenge Mr. Schiff, who seems to think that there's some secret evidence that he can't reveal, two things on that. One is, do you, does anyone in the world believe that if there was evidence of, of collusion that it would not have been leaked? It, under the circumstances that we've seen, of course it would. You would already know about it. And the second thing, this, this is such an important point, Sean. We've been accusing people of conspiracy and treason. And at the end of the day, these people are innocent. Aren't these, aren't these others who oppose what the Republicans have said on this, aren't they willing to come forward and just say, you know what, maybe we got this wrong. It's not fair to these individuals to keep this cloud over them when it, there just isn't evidence well to said. support that. And, and Congressman Chaffetz, I'll read again. No evidence of collusion, coordination, conspiracy between the Trump campaign and the Russians. And then it goes on how anti-Trump research made its way from Russian sources to the Clinton campaign, that would be the dossier, and problematic contacts between senior intelligence community officials and the media. In other words, they lied, they leaked, and they provided misinformation to the American media that ran with all of it. 
Well, Adam Schiff has proved that he is a political hack at the highest levels. He's an embarrassment to the United States Congress. He's an embarrassment to the Intelligence Committee. Uh, and it's just shameful what he has done. The second part is the, the only thing that, uh, you know, that we actually have evidence of is that Hillary Clinton tried to rig the election against Bernie Sanders. And then she goes out and spends millions and millions of dollars working with the Russians to develop this fake dossier that makes its way and it's treated as if it's the gospel and it, it yeah. was not and, and it was amused it was abused along the way and and, and congressman the uh, the irony is even in the last two weeks all of a sudden adam schiff changed his tune he knows he's been lying for over 14 months you know how are we to deal with people that are willing to drag the country through the mud to advance their lie and their narrative well, I think there's a couple points on this. One is at the end of the day, the American people aren't stupid and they can look at the evidence or the lack of evidence and they can draw their own conclusion. And then when they hear others say, no, 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 you know, just trust me, trust me, there's evidence, we just can't share it with you. I think they begin to be suspicious of that, obviously, as a minimum. And they begin to, I think, reflect yeah. back on those individuals who do that. And, and once again, Sean, I, I think, look, there, in your monologue, there was so much to talk about. Oh my heavens, we could spend hours on that. But the, the important point now is this. What did the FBI, what did the DOJ do? Were they acting ethically? Were they acting legally? And, and others along that line, as you said, this investigation has got some other very important points that we need to pursue. And I think we owe that to the American people to not just end here, but yeah. in a practical way and in a, and in a non dramatic way and in a nonpartisan way, continue with these other lines we, of questioning to tell them that as well. I've got to run. We are going to break down this week on the show the anatomy of a 14, 18 month lie.